Hi everybody, uh, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to discuss total revenue. Now, total revenue is the total income of an organization. And uh, this can be calculated through total revenue equals to the quantity into selling price per unit. Now, considering the selling price is, let's suppose the selling price is $1.20 and if we produce nothing, so obviously we are not going to sell anything, then the total revenue would be zero. And if we produce 500 and sell 500 units, so the total revenue would be $10,000 and if we produce 1,000 units and sell 1,000 units at 20 each, then the total revenue would be $20,000. So you can see the quantity and there is a relation between quantity and the total revenue. As the number of uh, quantity sold increases, the total revenue will increase too. So it's, it, it shows a positively sloped curve, an upward movement curve just, just like variable cost. It's more or less like a variable cost but the cost is, is, is basically the cost we incurred. And this is the income part of, uh, of the firm. So, but, but the movement when we show it through the diagram, the, both of these curves shows an upward movement, a positively sloped curve. Now, let's draw it. Considering the total quantity here and now we will see the revenue part here. So, when, they, when, when, produce, when firm produce nothing, so obviously they are not going to sell anything, the total revenue would be zero. So, the starting point of total revenue is origin that is zero. And then it moves upward, upward movement. And why does it show upward? Because the quantity increases, the total revenue increases. And since both have the direct proportionate uh, relationship in between each other, therefore the curve will be upward movement curve, a positively sloped curve. Now you can see at this point, if the quantity would be 500 units, the total revenue would be $10,000. And at this point, when the quantity would be 1000 units, so the total revenue would be $20,000. So as the quantity sold increases, the total revenue will increase too. And this is said to be your positively sloped curve. And the reason of this positively, positively sloped is, the relation between total revenue and quantity is directly proportionate to each other. Well, <clears throat> the next thing is we are going to draw break even point. Now, the break even point, the most important thing, what how, how do we draw break even point? So here we take quantity and here we take cost and revenue both because we are going to draw we are we are going to draw both the total cost and the total revenue here considering 10000 15000 and 20,000. So, for instance, your total cost will start from here and then it will move upward. This is your total cost. And your total revenue will start from origin and it move upward. This is your total revenue. So the point where total cost and total revenue intersects, this point is said to be your break-even point. Now, why do we draw break-even point? We draw break-even point to know at what point, at what level of production we, uh, the firm will be profitable and at what production, uh, the level of production the firm will be at loss. So considering, for example, for example, if I say the quantity is, let's suppose, 500 units. At 500 units, the firm will be at break-even. This is your break-even point. The break-even point is, let's suppose, 500 units. And if I say, for instance, the company is producing 700 units. The company is operating at 700 units. 
and the break even point is 500 so the difference in between the difference in between break even point and current output is said to be your safety margin so the point the break even point is z and the point we are currently producing this gap can this gap can be illustrated by this diagram this space is said to be safety margin so the business is safe with 200 units because they are producing 200 more units and this is obviously their profit so this is said to be your safety margin the current output that is 700 and the break even point that is 500 the difference in between the break even point and current level of output current level of production is said to be your safety margin so this is your how your break even point is supposed to be and obviously yes below this point below the break even point this whole portion this is said to be your loss these are your losses and from break even point till wherever it go this is all your profits and from break even point till your current production this is your safety margin so this is said to be your break even point now this is what we what we have shown through uh, a diagram we also can calculate break even point through a formula that is break even point is equals to fixed cost upon contribution now what does contribution means contribution is the difference between the selling price per unit and the variable cost per unit so in our example we, we, we take ten thousand dollars as our fixed cost and twenty dollars as our selling price minus ten dollars as our variable cost so the answer would be ten thousand divide by ten dollars ten into ten zero to zero so the break even point in this scenario would be one thousand units so if we if we if we take the example before we, we already have done in the in, in the last part the uh, according to that calculation our break even would, would be at one thousand units so this is how you can calculate break even point and this is how you can draw break even point i hope you like the video thank you so very much